Hello, this is Nathan Seidel, founder of SparkFun Electronics, and you know if you see my smiling face, there's a new product for high-precision GNSS. Today we'll be talking about the RTK EVK, or the evaluation kit for all things high-precision GNSS. This is a device that we've been working on for over six months now, and we're pretty proud to launch it today. There's a lot of complexity to this device and a lot to talk about, but first we're going to start with the basics and dive into the specifics. So the RTK EVK has a series of modules inside that we will show here in a minute, but from the outside of the enclosure, just want to go over some of the connectors and some of the interfaces. Predominantly, we have two USB-C connectors. That's for the ESP32 and a USB hub that has all of the U-Blocks modules. Behind it, we have an enlarged screen. This is a 1.3 inch OLED, as well as a micro SD socket and a nano SIM card. That's for the internal cellular module. On the back of the device, we have a series of antenna ports, so this device has has four antennas, two for LTE, one for Bluetooth and GNSS. So those are the final two. And then we have an ethernet port capable of 10 megabit per second. The big draw on that is power over ethernet. So you can power this device if you've got a PoE network. And the last one is this removable screw terminal so that you can hook up external power and radios and get uh, uh, time pulses and all sorts of uh, features. Think of the RTK EVK as the machine control for your next high precision GNSS project where the antenna itself is located exterior to the tractor or the lawnmower or whatever device you've got and then this device goes inside uh, the housing or inside of the cab where it's protected from the elements. So we're gonna get a little technical, but we've got the ZF9P, that's the GNSS receiver that is a dual band receiver. Next to the Z, we've got the L band Neo D9S that can receive a secondary sort of correction signal. Those two work together uh, alongside the ESP32. This ESP32 is the Rover module that has 16 megabytes of flash and eight megabytes of external PS room. That's just important because that means we can throw a ton of features at this product, and we have. Lastly, we have the LoRa R6 Global Cellular LTE module. Uh, this allows data connectivity pretty much all over the world. Um, moving over here, we've got our 10 megabit Ethernet along with the PoE module. This big black block, that allows a DC input of 9 to 36 volts. So if you're hooking to something like a tractor or a power system that's uh, highly uh, variable, that DC converter allows you to hook up to kind of any system as long as it's within that range. Additionally, we've got our two nano SIM card holder and our SD, micro SD holder, the two USB-C connectors for uh, configuring the modules and updating firmware if you need to, and then some external buttons for mode configuration and reset. The RTK EVK is an excellent machine controlled GNSS receiver where failover is paramount. Now when I say failover, I'm really talking about uh, threefold. In one case, we're talking about power sources. So the RTK EVK has three different ways to power it. You can power it from USB-C, you can power it with power over ethernet, and you can power it from an external nine to 36 volt power supply. If any one of those power supplies fail, it'll automatically switch over to the next. The next failover is transport or network. We currently have three different sources to push or get corrections, uh, those are generally speaking Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and cellular. So if you are currently pushing over Ethernet, say your NTRIP corrections from a base station, if the RTK EVK is set up as a base station, and Ethernet goes down, it'll fail over to cellular. Now the only asterisk to that is we're still getting the LTE cellular working. Check out the product description, we'll be updating that as soon as we have that deployed in the firmware. Lastly is corrections failover. So in the case of RTK, you need to provide the receiver corrections every few seconds so that it can maintain that really high precise RTK fix. The RTK EVK also has a variety of correction sources that it can fail over to. Those correction sources include external radios, ESP now, Bluetooth, NTRIP, L-band, and point perfect over IP. If any of those correction sources fail, the RTK EVK will automatically fail over to one that is working. I'd like to demonstrate the corrections failover on the RTK EVK. In this case, we're providing corrections over Bluetooth from SW Maps. We are also getting corrections via an NTRIP client over Ethernet. And finally, we've got keys to point perfect so we can get corrections over L-band as well. 
So currently, you can see that Bluetooth has the priority, and we've got a little down arrow on the display indicating that Bluetooth uh, crescents are coming across. But if we go ahead and turn off uh, our connection to the device over Bluetooth, we'll see that down arrow disappear. And now the device has uh, automatically switched to getting corrections over the Ethernet connection. And then you can see we've got this external USB cable hooked up because that is will be the primary power connection here in a second as we disconnect Ethernet. And the device continues and sees that um, the end trip is no longer available. It's going to try to connect to Wi-Fi and then switch over to L-band when that doesn't work. In addition to all the new hardware built into the RDK EVK, we've also put some unique features into the firmware, including casting to multiple bases. This is where you set up the RDK EVK as a base station and say you want to broadcast to MLID or Onacoy or RTK to go you can broadcast up to four casters simultaneously from a base. One of the new features of the RTK Everywhere firmware is localized subscription over Point Perfect IP. Basically what that means is rather than downloading the corrections for an entire geographic area, Point Perfect breaks that area into tiles and you subscribe to individual tiles. The RTK EVK knows where it is, knows what tiles to subscribe to, therefore reducing the overall data that needs to be downloaded to achieve RTK fix. So if you're considering high precision GNSS for your next machine control project, consider the SparkFun RTK EVK. Consider the RTK EVK for your next project. I already said that. <laughs> Firmware, includable, includable. <laughs> the tile, how to describe this? Um, Multi-base casting. Nope, download to get the corrections. Oh, that's rough. Okay, yep.